for the next seven days, I'm on a mission to build a brand new Shopify dropshipping store in 2023. Yes, you heard it right. I'll be starting from zero, from nothing, with a completely new product. I'm taking it all away and starting from scratch with just $400 to see how far I can go in just seven days of starting a brand new store. And the best part about it is I'll be bringing you along the way. All right, so the rules for this challenge are simple. I'm going to give myself four days of advertising to turn a brand new product with zero dollars in sales to a profitable product. Now, if this store fails and it's not profitable, I'm going to be giving a $500 cash prize to one of the people who liked this video and in the comment section down below, commented the word dropship. And if this store is profitable at the end of this challenge, I'm going to give this store away to one of my subscribers to help you kickstart your e-commerce career in 2023 into the right direction. All right, so it's day one, and if I want to have any chance at making money throughout this week, I got to get going right away and finding a product that I'm able to sell. And because it's such a short time period to sell in, I think my game plan is going to be finding something that's trending and has demand for it right now. Usually, I do like to find products that are about to be on the trend. But because time is limited, we're going hard or going home at this point. Now, in order to make the most out of these seven days, I'm going to be looking for products that I can sell on Facebook and on TikTok. So just to let you all in on some of my thought processes I'm having right now is I'm going to have to find something that has a wow factor and solve some sort of problem. So with using TikTok ads, I'm typically promoting a product that has a wow factor as that's what helps sell the easiest on this platform. But with Facebook ads, I'm able to push a product that is problem solving since that's what typically sells the best on that platform. Now, in order to find a couple different products I'm planning on selling, I'm going to be using PP ads and AdSpy to help me out. Now, both of these are paid apps, but with the links that I have down in my description, you could try them out for absolutely free with an additional discount added to it right now. These are my favorite product research apps. I'm literally on these apps every single day looking for products. So let's pray to the product gods that I find something I like today. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start my search with AdSpy and just see what we can come up with a product to sell on Facebook and then I'll head over to PP ads to find something I can sell on the TikTok side. Let's get to searching because I have to find a product today. What's going on y'all? We're finishing day one. It is literally like 9 p.m. at night right now. I've now found my first product that I wanna test on Facebook. I validated it. I've also found my first product that I wanna go ahead and test out on TikTok. I validated that as well and we are good to go. Now, when I walked in these doors today, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be finding these products and I'm gonna be testing them out. I'm gonna already have my product pages built out, but I'm gonna let you guys know right now, that did not happen. And it shows a true testament that you have to focus on validation. You have to treat this business like a real one if you want real results. So what ended up happening is I literally just went ahead wrote out some of my goals that I have for the next couple of days. I did accomplish what I need to do today, but now tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and build out some product pages. All right, so we're back with day two of my seven day Shopify dropshipping challenge. And today is all about getting my store up and running. And I absolutely have to get my product pages built out so that I can get ready to start testing as soon as possible. Now, you all know that I'm an advocate for general stores. And the reason is because they're the only types of stores that are going to allow you to test out different products that may not fall under the same niche without having to build multiple stores or to start over from scratch every single time a product does not work out for you. Now, general stores do get some hate in the e-commerce industry, but in my opinion, that's because the people who are creating them and testing on them aren't building them right. There's definitely a difference between a high converting general store and one that will cause you to struggle time and time again to make sales. Now, before I head into building a store, I know you're probably wondering what products that I decided that I wanna sell. And let me tell you, I found some products that I think can go crazy. On the Facebook side of things, I'm gonna be selling a product that you may have seen before, which is a sandproof beach. Mat. This is a product that comes back around this time every year. So when I saw that in my search yesterday, I knew I had to sell this one. Now for the TikTok side, I found a product that definitely has a wow factor and I think it has the potential to catch the attention of potential customers very quickly. And that product is the magnetic eyelashes that I saw people going absolutely crazy over on TikTok. So with that being said, I got some work ahead of me to not only build out the entire store from scratch, but also two product pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to it and then I'll be back to go ahead and check in.
All right, so I spent a good amount of time getting everything clean and put together on my stores. I got all the apps in, and I'm feeling good with the progress that I made today. And if you wanna see a step-by-step -step exact process of how I get all my stores built out, you can check out this video right here. Let me go ahead and show you how the store and product pages turned out because I put in some work on these. All right, so here we are on my homepage, and my main focus that I had was just highlighting the season and trend that's happening. So you see I'm highlighting the spring season and spring fever and highlighting images that went with that. Came down to the mission statement of my store, and then I went ahead and put one of my main products I'm selling right on the homepage, down to a collection that's also correlated with the season that's currently happening. I even got some reviews, and lastly, an email collector. And you see throughout my store, I'm only using black, white, and one separate color. Now that we have the homepage, let's go ahead and check out the product pages. Here's what the product page looks like for the Sam Beach Mat. High clean professional images. I named the product. Since I'm highlighting the spring sale, I have my selling price and my compare price. I end up choosing five different variants that I can sell with this product. Coming down to the product description, my first focus was highlighting the problem that many of my consumers have, which I did with this text right here. Gave a solution with my product and then show how the product worked. And then I just kept that same format throughout my entire product description. Now don't forget how important it is to make sure that your mobile site is looking good. Most shoppers are coming into your store while on their phone. So if you want to make sales, you got to make sure your mobile site is top tier. And this is a little bit of how it looks like on the mobile version. Here we are on the magnetic eyelashes and I took the exact same approach. So very clean, high professional, non-pixelated images. Sell price, compare price. Quick little review on why people would wanna buy my product. Highlighting the problem, giving the solution, get for image, feature, benefit, get for image, and so on and so forth. And on the mobile version, this is a little bit of what it looks like. Now, right from the jump, you can see I have some apps downloaded and working on my store right now. This one is discount quantity break, which is going to allow customers to buy more of my product at a discounted rate. Then as I scroll down, you'll see my sticky add to cart app pop up at the bottom of my screen, which is going to give the customer the option to add their product to their cart no matter where they're at on my product page. Now at the bottom, I have my frequently bought together app, which is just another upsell app that's going to allow the customers to buy my main product and bundle together with other products on my store to increase my AOV, drive more profit into my pocket and give the customer a good discounted rate. And then all the way at the bottom, I have my app installed called A Reviews. Now we all know reviews are so important to help convince the customer to buy because if they see the product that's working well for others, they're gonna wanna hop on the bandwagon and buy it too. Now I do break down all the apps that I use on my stores and show the exact setup of them in this video right here. So make sure you go ahead and check it out after this video, but I'm about to go ahead and head out for the day. It's been a long day. So I'm gonna go ahead and play some ping pong with the guys at the office, head home, and I'll see you guys back tomorrow for day three. What's going on y'all? It's officially day three of this challenge. It's a beautiful day out here in Dallas. It's like 9.30 a.m. And honestly, this view is unbeatable. I just got off a Zoom call with some executives at Shopify and some people on my team, and we have some big things rolling out soon. If you haven't seen my partnership with Shopify, giving you guys a great discount to get started with your store, check it out with the link down in the description. So basically, here's the rundown of what today is gonna look like. I'm about to head over to the office. I'm gonna go ahead and check out some of my product pages, make sure they're built out fully. I'm gonna go ahead and review some of my creatives, and then I'm launching my first creative testing campaign that's coming out midnight tonight, so I can go ahead and see if this product is gonna work for me. Literally, I'm doing it on both platforms. Platforms. Wish me luck and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright, I made it to the HQ and like I said today is the day. We're gathering creatives and pushing our first creative testing campaigns on both platforms so I can see what videos and thumbnails are going to give me the cheapest traffic to my store. I always start off with this step. That way I'm not heading into my cold interest campaign blind and I'm actually starting off with ads that I know will gain the attention of customers and start making me sales right away. So you know what I'm about to say? Let's go ahead and get to work. 
So my first step that I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and explore Facebook and TikTok and figure out which creatives are working the best for my competitors at the moment. Now, as you can see from that search alone, I was able to pull up some of the best performing ads that got the most traction based off of engagement like likes, shares, and comments on my TikTok product and Facebook product, so I know exactly how to compete with my competitors. And I'm simply just gonna go ahead and send this over to my video editor and get some new creatives made. All right, so now I just got my video creatives back for both of my products. Now for creative testing with Facebook and on TikTok, I always suggest starting off with four videos minimum so that you have the best chances of finding a winner. Now with my Facebook ad, my main approach is just solving a problem, highlighting different features and benefits, and ensuring the customer knows that this product is going to make their everyday life easier. And with TikTok, I like just testing out different hooks and styles of content. The content I see that does the best on the TikTok side is the Stitch Method content, review style content, green Green screen style content, storytelling content, and voiceover. And you already know I broke down each of these styles of content and how to find and use them in this video right here, so make sure to go ahead and check that out later. Now, having the right resources and strategies while working through getting the setup of your ads up and running is so important and you can still get that going even while on a budget. That's the main reason that I rolled out the Supreme University, where you'll be gaining access to my team and I with weekly calls, Q and A's, a private Slack chat support, and even giving you lifetime access to my Supreme Starter course. We'll be there to help you through every step of starting and running your dropshipping store. If that sounds like something that you need and you're on a budget, click the link down in my description for more information and let's get to work. And like I said, I just got my video creatives back and now I'm ready to actually get into testing which creatives are going to do the best. I'm gonna let you know right now, my eyes are tired of staring at the screen, but I did get everything back and ready to get into motion. So for these magnetic eyelashes, I ended up getting six different creatives. I'll show you one just as an example. And then for my beach mat, I also got six different creatives as well. And here's an example of one of my ads here. We are still at zero dollars in sales and it's already nearly the end of day three. So before I head out for the day, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my creative testing campaigns for both of these products on Facebook and the TikTok side. Both of these are going to start running immediately and I'll be back tomorrow to see how things are going. But if you don't know what creative testing is or how to set it up, make sure you check out this video right here where I show you everything step by step. Meet me tomorrow for day four and let's start to get some results. All right, all right, so this is going to be a quick update, but it is day four and my creative tests are still running. And as you can see, we're still at zero dollars in sales. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I'm getting a little nervous and I swear the days are going by faster than ever. But we are going to make something work. My creative testing should be finishing up soon. I'm going to let each one of my ads run to around five to seven dollars on Facebook and TikTok before I pull any data to see which one's going to work the best for me. So for now, I'm just gonna go around the office, work on some other things and grab some lunch. But I'll check in later when my creative testing is finished and hopefully I have some winners and we can get this course audience campaign set up. All right, so the creative testing campaigns literally just finished and thank God we actually have some winners and I even got a sale on the first day with this campaign. So that's already showing some really good signs. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my laptop and get into the breakdown of everything. So here's the inside look at my creative testing on Facebook. And this is the one that I chose to move forward with is this one right here that says video two comp one purchase. It ended up having a 66 cent cost per click, 3.24 click through rate, right around $21 CPM a dollar and 17 cost per unique link click. And I even got one purchase off of this and this ad only spent $10 and 54 cents. These metrics do fall in line with the ranges I'm looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and just move forward with this one in my cold audience campaign. Now on TikTok, I ended up running each ad to around five to $7 each. And let me tell you, these results were not it. My ads were bringing really expensive traffic and overall not hitting the metrics I'm looking for. As you can see, my cost per click really wasn't hitting. I do like seeing this under a dollar, but really for a winner, I like seeing this under 50 cents. My CPMs weren't doing too bad though. I mean, they were under $5, but the worst part was my click-through rate. 
For this campaign, on average, my click-through rate was 0.45%. I do like seeing this over 1% and not a single one of these ads produced that. This is exactly why I like to test out my creatives first before jumping straight into a purchase interest campaign. And I say this because with only $31 spent, I was able to see that the creatives weren't going to work for me. And from there, I didn't have to waste any more on that product. So because we are limited on time and it did not give me the results I was looking for, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this product and focus on what's actually working, which is the beach map product that I'm selling on Facebook. So with that being said, I'm going to set up my cold audience test on Facebook before I leave the office today and I'll have those start running at midnight tonight. Now for the cold audience campaigns that I'll be setting up, I'll be using a CBO campaign, better yet known as campaign budget optimization. And I like doing this on Facebook so I can let the systems AI push the money that I'll be spending to the ad sets that are performing the best for me. I have very limited data at this moment, so Facebook is going to know a lot better on where to push my money than I will, so I'll go ahead and let them just do their thing. But all in all, I'm actually really happy with the results that we got today, and I'm hoping that these next couple of days of testing will get some results going with the store. I'll catch y'all all tomorrow for day number five. All right, y'all, so it is day five, and we finished off yesterday with two sales with a whopping total of revenue of $79.95. And let me tell you, when you do get sales your first day while doing creative testing, that means your creatives are doing their job and bringing in the right type of customers to your store. So that means all those hours that we just put into product research and validation and building out the store was all worth it because our customers are actually converting on the back end. Now, once you head a little deeper into your cold audience and your pixel starts warming up and you really start to see those sales rolling in, you're going to want to have a platform that helps you automate and expedite the process of fulfillment. And that's exactly what I like to use DSers for. Diesters not only lets you import products to your store from AliExpress, which is one of the biggest suppliers for dropshippers, but it also lets you place hundreds of orders in just a couple clicks rather than having to place each order separately. Efficiency is key when it comes to running your online business and making money online, but not allowing that to consume your entire day is even more important. The goal is making money without thinking about it. And that's exactly what DSers can help you do. From being able to set multiple suppliers to your product to avoid stock issues, to offering order syncing and tracking to help your customer satisfaction, to even optimizing shipping costs and delivery times by automatically choosing the cheapest and fastest delivery to your store after importing a product, DSers is truly an all-in-one dropshipping app. And to me, it's a must-have on your store if you want to stand out from your competition and run your dropshipping business as efficiently as possible. And if you want to go ahead and get started with DSers, you can go ahead and check them out with the link down in my description. Now, there's not a lot that needs to be done today when it comes to my ads. I'm just gonna cut some fat on some ad sets that are not working for me right now on Facebook and really just let it keep warming up and spending so we can really set ourselves up for day six. It is so important to make sure you're cutting ad sets that are not working for you so you can continue to find new interests that have the potential to actually get you sales. And I'm honestly being very aggressive in my cutting right now because we gotta pick it up and really bring in some sales heading into tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work and I'll see you guys tomorrow for day six. All right, y'all, we have some good news and we have some bad news. Which one do you want first? I'm gonna just go ahead and start off with the good news. Good news is we've only spent $109 with Facebook ads so far, $30 with TikTok ads, and we're at $159 in total sales, which means at this point, we're still breaking even. Now, the bad news is I made absolutely no sales yesterday while still running with my cold audience, so I'm not gonna lie, that hurt. But this is proof that you cannot expect for your products to start taking off for you right away. It's going to take time to build up the data and time for your Facebook pixel to continue to figure out who your ideal customer is in order to keep gaining more sales. I'm not giving up yet though. I'm gonna keep moving forward with this product, cut some fat, and hope for a better day tomorrow. And helping you understand where to have patience, where to push to get more profit, and where to cut your losses is something we help you do within my one-on-one -on -one mentorship as we're there every day to guide you through step-by-step -step processes of running your online store no matter your experience level. So if you're looking to work with my team and I one-on-one -on -one towards starting your online business with the right guidance to help you do it successfully, make sure you head over to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton, DM me the word mentorship, or apply with the link down in my description for the limited spots that we have available. Now that we're down to just running with one product on the Facebook side, that's definitely going to hold me back from what I was hoping to reach by the time this challenge ended. And hitting zero dollars in sales yesterday hurt that even more. But again, at this point, it is what it is. I'm still going to finish strong, cut some fat off my campaign before I leave the office today, and we'll be back for day seven. 
Pushing through yesterday was worth it because at the end of last night, I ended up finishing off with two sales that came in that came out to around $79.98. It's officially the final day of the challenge and let me say it's been a hectic week since I started doing this. And today I was able to do a final push and end the day off with $199.90 in sales, the best day we've had in this challenge. And now since this challenge is over, we finalized our revenue at $439.78. So if we go ahead and take the total revenue and exclude all of the expenses, we finished the seven day challenge off with $54.71 of profit starting from scratch. So what this means is we won the challenge, which means I'm gonna go ahead and give this story out to one of the lucky subscribers so you can kickstart your e-commerce career into the right direction. You've seen the ups and downs of this challenge. From starting off on pace and seeing some sales coming in right off the bat with the sandproof beach mat to realizing that I wasn't going to be able to keep going with my TikTok product and having to completely cut that off. This is just further proof that dropshipping is not a get rich quick scheme and that if you want to actually create a successful online business, you have to be willing to put the time and effort in. Rome was not built in a day and a successful online business won't be built in seven. Now, let me give you a breakdown of where we're at profit wise. So again, Again, I was able to generate $439.78 over the last couple of days running ads. It looks like I spent around $31 on TikTok creative testing, $109 on Facebook creative testing, and $191.75 for cold interest testing on Facebook. That means that my total ad spend came out to $331.75. Now we have sold nine total units and the cost of goods on this product after fulfilling the orders is going to come out to roughly $54.32. So that means so far we're at $386.07 out of the $400 that we had to spend. But we can't forget about the apps that I placed on my store. Typically the apps that you have on your store will cost you anywhere between five to $10 a month, but because we just opened the store, we're sitting at $0 total spend on these apps since we're in the free trial on each and every single one of them. And honestly, I'm not too mad at that. With how quickly everything went this week and only being able to test and run ads on one platform with a brand new product, this wasn't too shabby. Now through it all, I hope that you enjoy seeing the process of this challenge and me taking you along the way throughout these last seven days. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I'm going to keep testing the beach mat and see what I can do with that over these next couple weeks. And I'm gonna let you know right now, disclaimer, if you don't wanna be wiped out of the market while trying to test out this same product, then don't test that one out because I'm here to compete. And again, don't forget that the success that you create with your online business is going to take time. You're going to take L's along the way, but how you continue to push through and adapt to change the outcome is what's going to really start helping you see the results that you're looking for. Now, before I leave you all to it, I can't forget to announce the free one-on-one -on -one consulting call winner from last week's video for the lucky person who took action. And the winner from last week's video is Salino Pantama. Salino, congratulations on winning. Reach out to me on my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. We can hop on a on one-on-one -on -one Zoom call, look over your ads, look over your products, and help you out with anything you may be having questions over. And don't forget, if you want the opportunity of winning this call next week, all you have to do is smash that like button down below and comment the word dropship with your biggest takeaway. Now, I do have the e-commerce summit of the year coming up this March 25th at 1 p.m. Central Time in the Dallas area. Here, I'll be sharing some strategies exclusive to this conference, and I promise you, you will not want to miss out on this. In-person and live streaming tickets are available with a special discount for all of you watching this video. All you have to do is click the link down in my description, use code YouTube at checkout, and I hope to see you there. I'll see you all next week. This is AC with Supreme Ecom, and I'm out. Jake said we gon' spend it, get it right back Stack that internet money till the site crash